This is Robert the Merciful Conman here at the Montreal Comic Con, and I'm here with Rick Thomas, who is the creator of the comic book Beside Top Secret. Can you please tell our audience a little bit about your book? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's a paranormal, conspiratorial, UFO, Bigfoot kind of thing. Uh, tagline it's uh, Mad Magazine meets uh, Alex Jones. And uh, what kind of, uh, is it humor based? Uh, yeah, humor and uh, a gonzo historical. I'm, I'm uh, attacking history with absolutely no attempt at uh, not being biased. Uh, that's kind of going at it. What made you decide to take on this type of book? Uh, it was just something I wanted to do. Uh, I had the idea for something called the 9-11 monologues in my head for a while. And about uh, two years ago, I was, I'm a career, career animator by choice, and I was going through a dry period in my career, and I decided to uh, spitball ideas with my girlfriend, and I told her this idea I had all for a long time. Basically, uh, I work at home, and when I work at home, I'm basically in my house coat and a cap and comfortable pants. And I explained to her I had this idea for um, uh, a fringe festival show where I would just basically go on stage and dress like this and talk about 9-11. Uh, that cracked her up. I got a good response. And since I have no acting experience whatsoever, I decided I might just take a baby step and try and illustrate it. And uh, I discovered I love the medium, uh, which is something I should have known when I was eight. But... Uh, <laughs> Oh well, better late than never. Yeah. What kind of uh, paranormal stuff do you take on in your book? Well, uh, f right now, as far as paranormal goes, I'm, I'm, uh, I've, I've attacked uh, forbidden uh, science. Uh, a lot of stuff got lost in the 50s with uh, telluric energy, uh, ley lines, uh, a lot of uh, really interesting stuff if you uh, peel, peel back a few layers of history. You can, you can find all kinds of interesting things. And uh, do you believe in any of them in yourself? Uh, I don't not believe. I, I, I remain open-minded and uh, I, yeah, I'll leave it at that. I want to believe, yeah. And so you write and draw the book yourself? Yes, I do. Uh, what kind of inspiration do you get when you're designing the uh, paranormal creatures or specifically uh, stuff that you wouldn't actually see and put your own spin on it? Well, there's lots of research that goes into one of these. Um, and I'm not very fast, so I tend to make a lot of rough drawings before I get to my final page. Uh, where can people find your stuff? Well, you can find it online at uh, besidetopsecret.blogspot. Uh, I, you can find me in Toronto at Conspiracy Culture. In town, Montreal, I'm at uh, Millennium, uh, where else, uh, Studio 9, and one more place that is escaping my memory right now. Check your local comic shops. <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking with us, and I hope you enjoy your rest of the time here in the Montreal Comic Con.